This is the Schmo with the Pro with UFC Light Heavyweight Ovin St. Pru. Ovin's UFC 236. How the weight cut going? It's going good, man. I can't complain. You look good, man. Talk to me about that headband. Oh, it's just a Haitian flag. My family's from Haiti, so I was representing the same flag I always walk out with. Now, where's your swag, man? How come you're not wearing a jacket like the Schmo? Man, it takes time to do that, man. It's just like, you know, the mindset is different. I want to be relaxed right now, so... Um, but, you know, I kind of ventured off. I was looking at your jacket. I was like, it's a pretty nice sports coat. You can touch it if you want. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I yeah. like it. Claudio Lugli, they hooked it up. Now, talk to me for a second. The last time we did this, you talked to me about the beast mode mentality. Is that still strong going on in your mind, mental warfare? It has to be. I mean, the thing about it is, it's just like, uh, you know, if you look at any type of former sport, it's mental warfare anyways. You know, if you look at any sport going back to, you know, football, it's technically mental warfare you just an opposing team trying to score and you know the thing about mixed martial arts is your best guy versus their best guy it's just like uh, the movie Troy my best guy versus your best guy and see what happens at the end that's my mentality I'm Achilles that's right now talk to me for a second the top of the division John Bones Jones you got history with him he's at the top of the game what's it gonna take for someone to dethrone him um to be honest is uh it, it, I mean, his game is not that much different. I know um, he has a hard time with people his size. Um, but other than that, just um, pressure. You know, he's, he, he's good at keeping people away from him. And as long as you pressure him, you, you tend to give him in trouble. It pressure more output, too. Now, it's been a minute since we've seen the Von Fluke choke. Your choke, my friend. When are we going to see that inside the octagon again? Whenever I get it presented to me. Like, I don't look for it. A lot of times people be like, okay, he's looking for it. I don't look for it. You know, a lot of times when uh, my, my wrestling coach, John LeBron, to his dad, I would say, you put yourself in your favorite positions. And every time I row, every time I, I'm striking, I'm always in my favorite positions, whether you want it or not. If, if, if you want somebody to be uncomfortable, you put, them, you put them in a position they're not comfortable with. Once you do that, they start freaking out. And, you know, um, from there I can take it over. Now, you know from your college football days, you know that ATL's got a rich culture, a lot of good food, big football town, big cultural town. What are you going to eat following Saturday evening? Um, don't know yet. Don't know yet. I got a, I got a couple options or whatnot. Um, I got family over here, so they might take me around. I mean, I've been around here to eat before. There's a couple good restaurants I can probably hit up. Um, Soul food, barbecue. Uh, you know, I get that in Tennessee too, though. Of course. Uh, Got to compare and contrast. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But um, I'll figure it out. I know I'm going to splurge for a little bit, though, with the food. I need to. You need to, man. OSP, you're the pro. I'm the schmo. Appreciate your time. We're out. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I like your jacket, though.